Hello, everybody. Welcome to Brain Buzz with Mike. I am your host and brain coach, Mike Harrigan, coming to you live from the Braining Center. I hope everybody's getting ready to have a great holiday weekend or great holiday break. So the question I have for you today is, should we be training like professional athletes? Now, we can start by asking, what do we have in common with professional athletes, right? And let's be a little more specific. What does Tom Brady playing football have in common with you or I eating in a crowded cafeteria? Now, at first, I'm sure you're like me and like most people, we say not much, but let's dig into it a little bit. So Tom Brady, like any professional quarterback, gets the football and has about three or four seconds to make critical decisions. And there's a lot going on in that short period of time, right? A lot that he has to process. He has to use his eyes to scan this large field and see where all the players are, where they're moving, what team they're on, what they're doing, right? At the same time, he has to be aware of what's going on right around him so that he doesn't run into someone or get tackled or uh, get, get hit by somebody, right? While he's doing that, he needs to be have, have control of his, of his body movements so he can instinctually move out of danger and get into the right position. While that's all happening, he, there's a lot of noise from the crowd. He needs to block that out, but still be able to listen for a whistle or for his teammates that might be yelling something to him. And while that's all happening, he needs to stay calm and composed. He needs to control his heart rate so he can stay poised under pressure. So he's doing all of these things simultaneously. And at the same time, he still needs to leave his, cogn his, 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 his cognition available, his higher level thinking, his conscious mind available for higher level processing. What play is it? What down is it? How much time is on the clock? What routes are my teammates running? So he can make the best decision. And all that information is getting processed simultaneously so that he can make the right move at the right time under pressure. So what does that have to do with you or me in a crowded cafeteria eating? Well, let's dig into that. Imagine a large cafeteria. Everybody's moving around, a lot going on, right? You're carrying a heavy tray, lots of food, and a big glass of water. You have to balance that tray while you look out at the open field, the cafeteria, and see what's out there. You have to lay of the land, where everything is, and how you can move around in there. At the same time, you have to be aware of what's going on right around you. So if somebody doesn't bump into you, or you bump into them, or you slip on some, some water that's on the floor and fall and break, break something, you hurt yourself, right? While that's happening, you have to have good control of your bodily movement. You need to be able to act quickly and get out of trouble and, and put yourself in the right position to be able to move through the cafeteria. Same time, there's a lot of noise, everybody chattering. You would be able to block that out, but still be able to listen to your spouse or your friends or someone that might be yapping in your ear, telling you something. And while you're doing that, you need to stay calm and poised under pressure, control your heart rate so you don't make a mistake. All the while, you have to leave your conscious mind available so you could be thinking about higher level things. You need to be able to process information like what time is it? Who am I meeting? Where are we going after this? What's the best route to get to my table? So your brain is inundated with all this information coming in through your eyes, through your ears, through the limbs, uh, your, your, your limbs, through your proprioceptive system. You also have to be able to control your heart rate and your, your thought patterns so that you can make the best decisions all at the same time while under pressure. So as it turns out, we have a lot more in, Tom, in common with Tom Brady and professional athletes, and we engage in these types of situations every day, all the time. Professional athletes, they prepare for this. They do multi-sensory training, multimodal training to prepare for this so they can think better and make better decisions and stay calm under pressure and avoid injury. So shouldn't we be training the same way, doing the same types of things? Of course. Of course we should. We all want our brains to be in the best shape they can and our bodies to be in the best shape they can. We want to be able to think fast, move better, stay calm, react better, under pressure. And this is especially true as we age. The number one cause of serious injury for people over the age of 65 is slips and falls. In fact, the number one cause of death 
other than natural causes for folks over 65, is slips and falls. But here's the interesting part. Most slips and falls are not caused simply because of a weakness in our, in our limbs, physical weakness. It's also because we process information slowly. We can't react as quickly or we get overwhelmed by the amount of stimulus coming in at once and we make a mistake. And that can cause, obviously, serious ramifications. So yes, everybody should be engaging in comprehensive brain-body training, which begs the question, how do you do it? And that's where the good news, bad news comes in. Good news, there are lots of ways to activate change in your brain. Lots of things you can do to think faster, to react better, to enhance your senses, to uh, get in better physical shape, cognitive, cognitive shape, and stay poised under pressure. The bad news, science is clear on this. If you want optimal overall performance, you need to be doing a combination of things. Many very specific types of physical movements and exercises, a variety of cognitive challenges. You need to engage in multi-sensory training that challenges your vision, your proprioceptive, and your auditory simultaneously. You should be engaging in breathing training and mindfulness training to stay calm and poised under pressure. And many times you need to be doing these things together in tandem. It's very complicated, and there's really no time for most people to be able to do that. Even if they knew what to do, taking eight classes a week would just not be possible. And this problem is actually the catalyst for why we started the Brain Center. So at the Brain Center, we're committed to making a change in this area. We have a team of leading experts in the wide range of fields of, of brain health and performance and physical performance enhancement. Spent over 10 years developing, testing, refining various programs to help engage and enhance physical and cognitive performance. And we've, we've created this program that we now call Power Braining. So the Power Braining programs are all customizable for based on the needs and the abilities and limitations of certain markets of people. All the programs are fun and easy to follow. They're comprehensive and convenient and very affordable. It really is total training for the brain and body, right? So all year long, I've been doing these live webcasts weekly brain buzz to, to help people understand the value of, of brain health and things they should be concerned about, things they can do to enhance the brain health. But before the year ended, I wanted to really tell you what we're doing at the Brain Center to address this issue, how we're helping people, what our mission is. And that is to give everybody the opportunity to op optimize their minds and their bodies, to enhance their health and performance of their brains and their bodies. So if you're interested in learning more about the Power Braining programs, you can email me directly, Mike Harrigan, at brainingcenter at headstrongone.com. That's brainingcenter at headstrong, the number one, dot com, or you can visit our website at brainingcenter.com. So I hope you like this, and I hope you're ready to have a, a tremendous holiday weekend. If you want, you can always view this webcast again or any of our other live uh, 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 Brain Buzz segments by going to YouTube and searching under Braining Center. All right. Until next, well, we'll be off next week for the Christmas holiday, but we'll be returning again beginning of January. And until then, I hope you have an awesome, awesome break.